everybody. It's Linda G. And here's our man about town on our every other Sunday, Sterling. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> and good um, thank you so much. Everybody just so enjoys this. I know based on how busy you are, maybe one day you won't be able to indulge in this, but I'm holding on to you as long as I can. I'd All like good. to. We'll, okay. <laughs> I was going to say we'll find a way to do it remotely somehow if the schedule um, gets really crazy. So, yeah. I'd like to also thank his lovely wife, Linda, who helps put the questions together, and to my cohort, Dan, who types them out and sends them to me. Exactly. So, um, but do you even look at the questions before? You and I don't tend to no. look at the questions. No, no, no. Uh, in the early days, I used to, uh, we started with a screening process because I want to make sure that they weren't too, they weren't violent questions or, you know, questions yeah. that weren't appropriate. And now I stay way far away from it. So uh, the only thing that I have that I want Daniel and my wife to do is just make sure we're not repeating questions or, or the information is accurate in the question. That's all. So. Right. There you go. Okay. So. Here's our first question. From the other mm -hmm. side, is there a message from Prince Philip? Yeah, you know, there is. Um, I think everybody knows he passed away earlier this year. Uh, what was it? It was in April, I think April time frame. Oh, they you know, it, yeah, yeah. And uh, one of the things I, I constantly pick up from, and, he, and I'm picking up from again right now, is that he wants the monarchy to be completely overhauled and changed. So here's somebody that was a long time in the monarchy, started you know, way back in a lot of the pomp and circumstance. What he wants the monarchy to be is reinvented around a lot of the disciplines that Diana laid out. So is he wants the monarchy to be known for worldwide you know, causes and, and assisting as opposed to pomp and circumstance. He also wants the entire monarchy to be very inclusive. And he airlines the word inclusive when he looks at, you know, let's say Megan and the rest of the family and, and the princes. So, you know, this is something he said, we all have to kind of uh, revamp and re-engage and reinvent uh, the monarchy. So that's kind of his big message. And he says, boy, when he crossed over, did he ever see that clearly that, you know, it, not in a bad way, he, he could have taken a more proactive day in later years and really trying to reinvent the monarchy, but didn't think he had it in him. So good guy. Well, good guy. I just, it's so funny you said that. I was just listening to uh, this this YouTube channel. And one of the things they were, I was just listening, then I stopped, I'll listen later. Apparently the Queen Mother and Queen Victoria were mm -hmm. very angry at him, that Edinburgh guy, because he wanted to upgrade the monarchy. He wanted to go in there, but the queen, she was stuck with the tradition of Queen Victoria and Queen, the queen mother, but he wanted to do it. Right. So between the two of them, the queen mother and Philip, they didn't even get along. Yeah. So I, I think that we're going to, you're going to see a real time period here of reinvention of the monarchy. And thanks to the things Philip will help with on the other side, as well as what Diana laid the groundwork for. So uh, my hat's off to them. Good, good Fantastic. for them. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, um, when will the order of respect within Congress return? Oh my God, so bad. <laughs> you know, I, I'm being told it, it's not going to be any faster than like five years. But the reason is they're going to see a lot of turnover in the members of Congress. So they really have to clean the house. You got to get all the bullies off the playground and it, it's not going to happen any faster in five years. So it looks like, you know, we go through a couple of cycles here where uh, almost everybody gets replaced. Almost everybody. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing too. Yeah, yeah. Five years. In fact, there was a bunch of guys walking with the big masks at the Capitol with flags mm -hmm. and, uh, a young, a lot of young men went in there and chased them off. <laughs> no weapons. Crazy. Just get out of here. Anyway. Okay. All of this is for entertainment purposes only. And we hope you're very entertained. <laughs> okay. Will there be more judges appointed to the, oh, I love this question. More judges point, appointed to the Supreme Court. Will there be term limits for the Supreme Court? I think you kind of tapped into this a while yeah, ago. On a couple of shows we tapped into this. Um, I, I don't see term limits coming up for Supreme Court justices. I don't. But what I do see I've seen uh, two replacements and one addition to the Supreme Court, but looks like it's going to happen over the next 12 to 24 months here. Could start a little sooner. So I see by the time we get 
you know, 12 to 24 months out, you're looking at three brand new Supreme Court justices, but I don't see term limits coming in. No, I, I, it looks like it gets proposed, but it gets knocked down really quickly. So it, I wonder if it's part of the Constitution that they get life term. I, I believe it has some, my belief is it does. I'm not a, I'm not a scholar on this con constitution. Me neither, but, me neither. But, yeah. Okay, I live in Pennsylvania. However, Dr. Oz does not. He's using his in-laws home address to run for the Senate seat. What are his chances? I, I don't see him winning. I don't I see him winning. But, but here's the interesting part I'm being told. One of the reasons he doesn't win is the big pharmaceutical companies bring him down. So it's almost like the big pharma, they endorse the other opposing candidates and Isn't help bring them something? down. So it's interesting. Uh, it's almost like he can't overcome that is what I'm being shown. So it's, was uh, he in trouble with that? I never watched his show. So, uh, and I didn't really don't watch his show. I, I just got a cold chill, which is interesting. So Ooh, good. That means it's for real, you guys. Or something. Uh, remind me to tell you about the, the orb that was in a video I just did. I'll tell you about Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, but it looks like he always was, you know, uh, talking about medical cures that weren't always founded. And so I think that's where he got into some kind of entanglement with big pharma companies. Uh, but it's, it's interesting when you ask that question, my guys are like, no, but here's why, you know, big pharma right. is going to be aligned, uh, uh, with the other candidates. So do you um, remember that big TV show he was doing at the hospital he worked at? Do you know all his associates, all the other doctors hated him. Hmm. They complained so much. They stopped letting him film it. Yeah, I, I don't know a lot about him, uh, but uh, it does not look like he's going to win that race. Well, so. as soon as they said his name and he's running, I said, ah, he's not going to win. Okay, here's another one. How is China tennis star that accused a top government China official for rape? Where the, will there be any justice? Is she still alive? I feel she is. But you say what your opinion is. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I feel she's definitely still alive is what I'm getting. I feel she's definitely being coerced, which is, you know, uh, look, I'll say you don't have to be a psychic medium to know that. Mm -hmm. But what I do see is that uh, there's going to be tremendous political pressure over the next few months here. Oh, uh, yeah. The months. And actually, they're going to let her come out of China. So I see I see them letting her come out. Now, it doesn't mean they're not still going to have some kind of strings attached to her. Say, we're going to let you go out, but keep in mind. Your, but your family is still here. <laughs> keep in mind, your family is still, you know. So, but I do see, do, based on political pressure, they're going to let her come out and try to ease the, the political drama going on around it all. So uh, I do see that, yeah. But and I don't, you know what? She, uh, she definitely... Um, She's in hiding is what I felt or being or stuck in a place just to, to maintain. But the women's tennis uh, has decided not to go to China. They did. The what the chairman CEO of the WTA, I think it is, uh, came out and he actually he he went without now several hundred million dollars of sponsorship or revenue. Uh, I mean, he really made a very big statement by backing out. So I, I applaud him. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. Right, right. But you know what I just picked up just now while you were saying that? I pick up part of the reason, well, she gets to go, but part of the reason she still wants women tennis working is that this guy shouldn't determine everybody's fate. It's almost like she worries about other Chinese tennis players mm -hmm. and she wants yeah, them right. to have a chance, but this is cutting their chance too. So I, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Will 2022 bring about more emphasis on unity among countries to deal with climate change? 2022. So, gosh, we're only three or four weeks out of that. Yeah, it's like, uh, will it next week? <laughs> uh, the answer is absolutely yes. And we, they've already started off this road. I mean, you know, Biden has already rejoined you know, the Paris. You know, it, we're already off to the, the races on that. So, the yes, races. 2022 will be a, a very fundamentally important year. For a lot of countries coming together, there there are less and less countries that are now uh, disagreeing with the fact that we're going through a global crisis of climate change. It's okay. pretty obvious all the weather patterns and that. So yeah. Now, now I got to ask you real quick: Are you going to do a 2022 future events? I can. I, I that's not something when, I normally do. I, I kind of you know when you have time and you sit down and start writing any kind of hits you're getting. If you do it, I'm going to replay it on my show. 
Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I kind of, I'm always communicating real time, as you know. So I, I, but I certainly that's always something we can ask anything. See if your guides have a little something to tell us, some happiness or sadness, whatever. Sure. Can we finally make some progress on gun control after the last school shooting? That was so sad. Yeah. Well, 100% there's going to be a uh, big change and good change. So, you know, the universe always does things for a reason. And, you know, the school shooting was awful, an awful event. But the good that's going to come out of it from a universe standpoint will be new uh, litigation and new ways of handling uh, the consequences for shooters. But I also see, I've seen this for a while, and it's coming up starting next year. We're going to see new registration programs for guns, but it'll be run like the Department of Motor Vehicles. So you have to get a renewed license every year or you right. know, take a little written test. And I also still see biometric fingerprint controls coming into guns. That's so when you buy new, that means that only the registered owner or the, the owners that own the gun can use it. So you, let's say your son or daughter can't grab the gun and use it at school. So right. then there'll be a retrofit with biometric technology as well. So I see those two big things happening plus right. the litigation now. Yeah. Can I ask you a real quick question on top of that, which, sure. which somebody on Twitter mentioned, I thought, good idea. How about besides just like being the DMV, how about you have to be insured if you own a gun? gun? Yeah, well, you know, interesting enough, that is all part of the way they handle the DMV now, right? So you okay. have to That's, show. Yeah, you can't get a license unless you're insured. I think the Correct. insurance is really going to hit hard with people who shouldn't be have, having guns. Yeah, I, I not to you know reiterate here, but I see 100% they're going to try to map it over the way the, the DMV is run. So look, we'll take that model. And now, you, you know, if you can drive a car that is effectively a weapon, you can kill people with a car. We've seen that. Yeah. Uh, now, why not do it with the guns? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. When and how are Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lowen Bolpert exiting stage left? Whoever said that question, I love you. I always say exit stage left. You know, Snagglepuss, right? In the cartoons. Uh, that was his, yeah. Well, yeah, I, what I see is they're going to get a lot of pressure from their own party, but I, I don't see them being forced out until the election comes up. So it looks like when the midterms come up is when they'll get pushed out somehow. So that's okay. that's the time frame for me. Yeah. Okay. Will the government finally do something for all the homeless homelessness and bring back mental health care facilities? That homelessness started with Ronald Reagan in California saying, oh yeah, don't mental health things, get rid of all the, these people. You know, um, and by the way, you're breaking up on that question. So can you repeat that question? I oh, I'm like sorry. I thought we got that microphone fixed. I, I um, for some reason, right there, it broke up like half the question. Okay. Will the government finally do something for homelessness and bring back uh, mental health care? Oh, got it. Yes, they will. And I, I, it looks to me like this is all part of like budget planning, but it's going to be budget planning enabled by uh, the new tax laws, the new tax infrastructure. So, you know, it's great to have plans and we're going to do, we're going to do all these programs. It looks to me like within a very short time period, within two years here, uh, as new tax laws come in, there'll be more revenue that can be assigned to that. So I do, I do see that happening. Yeah. Teachers are leaving the profession in droves. How will K-12 education change over the next 10 years? Yes, but, you know, it's going to come in two areas here. One is going to be more, more budgets, so a bigger budgets for teachers, so better pay for teachers. They'll enable hiring more teachers and compensating them better. But the other component here is, interesting enough, technology. So it's a technology that can assess students, let's say, learning needs faster. So these, these students need this kind of a learning approach. These others need that kind of a learning approach. And then so it's a bit of a technology here that's going to make it easier for teachers to assess and then get very quickly uh, students ramped up. Uh, so a few years here, but this is also tied to tax revenues and new tax laws and right. more budgets, yeah. Okay. I mean, teachers should get as good as money as nurses. It's Absolutely. A tough, it's a tough job and they're in charge of our youth. Okay, why was the Sunspot Solar Observatory in New Mexico in 2018, swarmed with helicopter, helicopters by the FBI and closed for 11 days, apparently with some other observatories such as Australia and Chile. 
a absolutely extraterrestrial uh, contact and visitation. But what's interesting is I I'm seeing a big mishmash in the news. So it looks like whatever federal agency, if that was the FBI, it looks like they floated out a, a story that was completely untrue. So it was extraterrestrial visitation. You don't shut down observ observatory and put Blackhawks up for 11 days because you have a water leak. <laughs> you know, there, there's some other FBI story here. Uh, don't know what it is, but anyway, it was extraterrestrial. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Dying to know the details. Uh, Stacey Abrams has just announced she's going to run for governor of Georgia. Do you see her winning? I do. I do. But you know, what's interesting is it's almost like, boy, it's like she just gets her foot through the door in time. You know what I mean? It's like, right. it's going to be a race down to the wire. And I know. saw her winning. I saw her winning. And eventually Stacey Abrams will be president of the United States. That I can't confirm, but uh, I'll tell you that this, so the race she's in uh, is looks like she gets her foot just in the door. Like they're trying to slam the door on her figuratively. And right. it's just the right amount of votes to get her over the finish line or something. I love it. it almost like reminds me of like, it's a head to head race and they can't call it. And then they got to take in a couple of days to count all the mail-in ballots or something. Okay. And then that pushes over the top. So, so is Brian Kemp going to try to cheat like he did before? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, I got to tell you, that's already started. Yeah. So, you know. Okay. With the pup poop, oh, what is this? Publix supermarket heiress who helped fund the insurrection ever be held accountable? There has been no mention Julia Jenkins Fancelli being subpoenaed yet. Yeah, I, I think that's public supermarket, Publix. Publix. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, we yeah. don't have any up here. I don't know about you. No, I, th I think they're more East Coast based, Publix. I'm, I'm relatively okay. sure. Not, they're not out here on the West Coast. They're, so um, it's not Publix, it's Publix. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, well, sorry about I'm, being the told, I, I'm being told that, uh, that there's not going to be any public repercussions and they're going to try to subpoena her. Uh, behind closed doors, but she's going to have enough wherewithal and legal firepower that she'll avoid a lot of the, you know, she'll avoid any kind of incarceration or something. So uh, she'll be called, she'll be subpoenaed, but she'll fight it, affecting a lot with a lot of lawyers. So yeah. And a lot of money. Yep. Uh, what is the future of the NRA and the people who run it? Well, oddly enough, that's tied to a lot of money channeling and, and money coming from overseas. Uh, so what's interesting is within just a few short years here, uh, when all the new banking and IRS regulations get put in place where you have to really track where all the money comes from in every bank account, that's going to cut off a big uh, supply of money for the NRA. And it looks to me like they're going to get dismantled or they'll be like, they'll end up being like the Salvation Army or something. You know, it's their... They're not going to be powerful anymore because it was the money being funneled into the NRA from illegal sources that gave them all the power. And they'll be it's able to easy. they'll be able to cut that. Exactly. What does it mean to speak to someone in your dreams and then wake up to hear the person has passed? Well, that's completely uh, part of the universal plan. When people pass, they have the opportunity to come around to people that they knew or loved and say goodbye. So I see that within a lot of times within 24 hours prior to a death or 24 hours after, uh, you can go around and, and make yourself known and say goodbye and in dreams or in reality. So that's all part of uh, the departure plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, it means usually they're coming to say goodbye. They are. They are. Oh, now, is DeJoy close to losing his job? Now, I always predicted the end of December. I know you saw him losing his job, but time yeah, frame. No, I, for me, for me, it, it's always was going to happen in the spring. So it got up into next year, but it's because there's going to be some other shift in the board of governors for the, the U.S. Post Office, right? US, right. USPS. Two more uh, uh, Biden people are coming on. Right. And so it looks to me like when that happens around the springtime of next year is when uh, they swap them out. OK. Mm -hmm. um, if the Supreme Court allows restricted abortion rights, will that encourage more people to vote Democrat? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, it's already happening even without uh, the, the Roe v. Wade situations going on. It's already happening. So uh, well, yeah. I can see women just saying we're done. We're done. You can't tell us what to do. And right. um, uh, but the other thing, it's heartbreaking. I don't know what news station or if you even watch, but they are replaying a lot of these justices, what they said at their confirmation hearings. Mm -hmm. All of them said they wouldn't touch Roe versus Wade. All of them did. Yeah. Well, I, I really feel what they're going to try to do is manipulate some of the parameters around Roe v. Wade. So, right, you know, the number of weeks. Yeah, so 15 whether, weeks. 25 or 26 weeks, where it's 15 weeks. But what's interesting is I see that they're going to try to pull it back to 15 weeks as the threshold. But then through a lot of court battles and whether the, the states get involved, they'll get it back to like 25 or 26 weeks as the threshold for whether you can or cannot uh, right. have an abortion. I think it's 24 weeks, yeah. Because my nephew was born at 25 weeks and he's still alive. Very good, yeah, I don't remember the exact thing, it's 24 right. then, yeah, but it looks like they're gonna try to swing it back and then it'll come back to 24 weeks. Right, but it's going, this is actually, you guys, this is actually positive for us. Trump mm -hmm. was actually something that helped overturn things that made us appreciate our constitution even more and being, you know, by the law. And, and mm -hmm. everybody ran all over everybody. And especially women are getting hit. You notice they didn't mention anything about any violence towards women that get pregnant. They didn't even talk about it because it's just because they don't have to. And there's nothing towards men, no offense. But, you know, if you get someone pregnant, we're forcing her to have the child. You, Buddy, you better pay for this kid. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of these problems are culturally go back, you know, decades and decades in our society, right? So this is based on a lot of, you know, right wing, some, you know, culture. It's, you know, we don't have to go back to the history books, but this is how we got here. So this All will right. be a new day and time and we'll. I, in we'll a way, we even though as, as terrible as it was and people were so upset, I just said, you know, women just got the right to vote 100 years ago. By God, mm -hmm. they're not going to keep stripping us down. And right. those people that are part of this will be removed. Because be. just like it's a, a Sada, what's her name? Santa Moore, Santa, Justice. Sotomayor? Sotomayor. Yeah. What the stench. Mm -hmm. The stench. My God, you couldn't take the words out of my mouth fast enough. The stench of what they're doing and how, oh, uh, Mississippi said we've got new people. So let's go for six weeks. You know, they it's will overturn the Texas thing, by the way. That's the first one they're going to say. They're going to say we overturn it. And people will think, well, maybe they're being reasonable. And then they'll they'll do this. So we'll see. Will uh, Maxwell trial expose the big names involved in sex trafficking and dark money behind it? The Jelaine Maxwell, yeah. Jelaine um, Maxwell. Yeah, the ab absolutely. And there I see a lot of closed door testimony there. So there's gonna be a lot of bartering going on behind the scenes with their testimony. It will expose a lot of very wealthy and powerful people and politicians. Uh, but she's going to be faced with a situation where she's going to have to reveal, you know, what she knows. And at the same time, what I see her legal team doing is kind of a combined strategy. We're going to tell you everything, but we're going to tell you everything in the context that we're going to show you why Jelaine isn't responsible. She was unwilling bystander. So she knows all this, but here's how she knows it because she was with Jeffrey and here's how it happened. Okay. But you're going to see a lot of it come out in, in public. Yeah. I don't see her wasting away in jail. No, it looks to me like within a few years here, if it takes even that long, she's going to negotiate a bargain that'll get her out. And then she'll probably be in some sort of a witness protection program because there'll be a lot of people in the world that won't be very happy with her. So Right, like the people that got rid of uh, what uh, Epstein. Right. Okay, a lot of readers don't believe there is a hell, Okay. Where do the bad souls go who refuse to go into a light? 
Well, everyone eventually goes into the light. That's, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, what you did, what your life path was, regardless, you end up going to the light. Some people may go kicking and screaming, but yeah, they go into the light. So the answer to that question is there is no other, other place where they go. Every goes to the same place. Yeah. Right. But depending on your degree of soul energy on this life, sometimes you can be in a purgatory tough situation. I've had people that have died and come back and said that they, you know, were lost in this awful place. And then they cried out for God and were saved. So do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so what my, my answer talks about what I'll call the doorway. So that's, that's how the doorway works. You go into the light. Now, once you get over there, there's, there are thousands of energetic levels. Absolutely. And there's all kinds of different life reviews. So yeah, right. that's a different part of the equation. Yeah. Right. Right. So, um, 45 is inviting potential 2024 running mates to Mar-a-Lago. His two requirements is you must be loyal to him and you must back up his belief that the election was a fraud. What is he up to? Oh, I mean, that that's somewhat straightforward. What I'm being told, uh, he's trying to scam more money. So this is all about, uh, you know, wealth building and uh, getting uh, uh, donations, right? So if he keeps telling everybody I'm going to run and I only want to see the loyalist here, it's, uh, it, it's a play for money. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, will there ever be a cure for autism? Yes, uh, no faster than five years, but there'll be a vaccine. And there'll also be another uh, cure here to talk about that'll come out of CRISPR technology. So that'll also be some sort of an injectable substance, but that's more like six, seven years out. But there will be. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you see anything coming up the next week? I do. Uh, I, I see, it looks like, you know, some women's marches developing over all this stuff on the Supreme Court. So it looks like some women's marching going on. I, they're talking about. I see uh, a good little trove of 45 documents coming out too. So some sort of a leakage coming from somewhere. Uh, it may not be the, the leakage path that we all suspect, but it's almost like somebody's got a bunch of documents and they just leak them. Wow. Um, I also see what looks like to me, interesting enough, some sort of a major drug bust. But the reason this drug bust is coming up is it's got some leakage to money laundering. So there's some connection with money laundering and and now wait, like, where did all these drugs come from? How did they get here? Uh, so that's interesting. Um, and I also see really more efforts around good vaccine testing around uh, new Omicron. So you oh, know, cool. validation of, of vaccine efficacy around Omicron and, and uh, tests coming out of Israel, which you know, we touched on before. So yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Okay. And do you, do you have any information your guides want to share? Yes, and this almost goes full circle with Prince Philip. But what they're telling me to tell everybody is uh, make sure you manifest a future for yourself that's all inclusive. So start with yourself. You know, it's all inclusive with those around you, and then that will pan out to the world. So it all stems from love. But the message this week is all about being very inclusive, no matter what walk of life you're in, what position you're in, what orientation. It's all inclusive. We're all the same. That's wonderful. Yeah. And I got to tell you guys, um, when I've been going through a little heartache with uh, some miscommunication with Mago Resort, and I didn't think I was going to do another one, Sterling predicted everything that has just recently taken place. So I am doing another one, and um, it sold out in 48 hours, and I'm back on track. All, all is well. All is well. Yeah. But you predicted it. Oh, my guides did, right? My guides. And oh, your guides, yeah. It. That's like me too. It's my guides. I can't say it was me. Yeah, not that, really I, that, I was just going to mention. Huh? Go ahead. Yeah, I mentioned real quickly. I think it'll be a, a very successful event. So oh, congratulations. Thank you. Right. thank you. So listen, um, uh, how can people reach you? Yeah, very easy. Uh, you can navigate to sterlingpsychicmedium.com. There's a book online tab. Very easy to book a session with me. And then I also have a YouTube channel, obviously. And interesting, the number of people that watch your show didn't know I had a separate YouTube channel. So I thought I'd just mention it. So What? I post it oh, all really? the time. 
Uh, oh, no, my Linda was telling me that some of the comments she saw on some of the shows we do or wherever this was, they didn't realize that I had a separate YouTube channel. So that's why I thought I'd just mention it. Wow, Maybe, because you know, I, new I post it. People win a reading if you get a certain number, you know, from me. Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. I think, you know, I think there might be new viewers to the channel or something. Oh, right? There's okay. always new people yeah. coming and going. So, yeah, because you know. um, even on this today, when I post it, I'll put the link to your YouTube channel on there. Yeah, you know, yeah. Some my, people, it's very I'm hard to change it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say that uh, if you use some of the streaming boxes like Apple TV or Roku, you won't always see the comments oh, of that is or the lighter description. But if you're using an app on a mobile device, a laptop or something, you can see the description links. You won't always see those other comments on streaming boxes. So, okay. Hey, um, did you see that YouTube doesn't allow people to dislike a video anymore? I did not see that. No. Yeah, you can hit dislike and it, it, it might show for a second, then it's gone. Apparently, um, a lot of companies were complaining about it. So yeah, mm -hmm. YouTube blocked the dislike. There Whatever. you go. That's, that's progress, I guess. That's progress. All right. If you can have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> so I'll be talking to you again, I think before Christmas, right? I believe so. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I can say happy Christmas then. There you go. And, or happy Hanukkah right now. Yep. Tell your Christmas. wife. Christmas tell your in our wife. house is all good. Okay. Tell your wife I said hi. I will. Absolutely. And all, all, uh, all the best. Okay. And and keep me updated on how you're doing. I will. Okay. All right. Bye, you guys. Take care.